Hi, I'm Jessica Rosetta at Nomadic Doula on Instagram, and I'm here to talk to you about my DIY composting toilet. And here she is. So when we first started our bus build, we were going to use a nature's head toilet, but the price tag was something that was a little bit scary and not really in our budget. So we figured, we had, why don't we try to make our own? Um, we made everything else that's on our bus, so we gave it a go. The price tag of the nature's head is about $1,000, and we spent about $100 on ours. Um, we looked at the nature's head and the airhead toilets, and we saw that there was a few key components and we knew that those were ones we needed to incorporate in our design. So we have a container for poo, we have a container for pee, and we uh, have a fan that kind of circulates the air so things don't get stinky. So let's take a closer look. So our container for poo is a five gallon bucket that's been cut down a little bit. I didn't want my toilet to be as high because I have three children. Um, we use biodegradable bags in our toilet. They come in little tiny rolls like this. I get them from Amazon. Um, and uh, we also use a coconut core carbon-based medium to go inside to cover your poo. Um, the other element that was key was separating the urine, um, which was our urine diverter. Um, I ordered it off of eBay from a company called Free Range Designs out of the UK. They thoughtfully also included with that this little tiny strainer. I think it's for making tea, um, but it's great for keeping coconut core out of the urine container, um, which is something that my four-year-old loves to try to do when she's covering up her own poo. Um, we had a container, a two-gallon container for our urine when we first started. After living on the bus for a month with five people, we realized that a two-gallon container was just ridiculous, and I used to have nightmares about it overflowing at night if the kids had to get up to go to the bathroom. So after about a month, we decided to plumb our urine to our gray tank, and it has been just so awesome to not have to worry about emptying our urine at all. Um, we also have the fan which helps circulate the air, which is a great thing so that you can keep the smell down. Um, another thing that we use is we have a little bit of vinegar and water and we will just spray the urine diverter and it kind of just helps with cleaning, things like that. Um, all of the things to build the, the, the kind of the holding and the outside, a lot of that was stuff that I found around my garage. I did purchase the corrugated metal, which was great because it kind of, bent around and we could have a more rounded design. Um, but you know, the innards are like wood that I just had laying around and the toilet seat was just a cheap toilet seat from Walmart and uh, it, it does the trick. Um, speaking of the coconut core, we buy our coconut core in these huge bricks and this is what we use to cover our poo. Um, it, it's, a, it's about a 10 pound brick of coconut core. I get it from Amazon. Um, if you stick this in a, we have a big Rubbermaid tub that we stick it in and we pour a few gallons of water on it and it kind of all floofs up and turns into this nice and light fluffy, you know, kind of planting medium. And that's what we use. We keep the big, huge thing outside, but we have this nice little can that we keep inside. And you just take a cup full and you just sprinkle it over your poo after you go. Um, it's, it's really kind of nice. You could use it for planting. That's what it's that's what it's meant for is for plants. But it kind of helps keep everything nice inside your toilet. And that's pretty much all about our composting toilet. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm on Instagram at Nomadic Doula, and our bus is at Live to Wander Bus, also on Instagram. We would love to answer any questions and help you out in any way if you're trying to build your own composting toilet. Thank you very much. Have a great day.